In this tutorial, I'll show you how to route audio coming through your from your computer through the USB B from PC USB input. Right now, you're watching as the input levels are showing the signal coming through aux nine and ten. I'll show you how to route that, and then we're seeing that coming through on the master output. Just so I, this won't be distracting through the rest of the video, I'm going to turn that back down, and then. You won't need to do this, but I'm going to reset or load the original factory settings so that we'll see all of the normal preset, the, the normal defaults. Okay, so you won't do that in, in your case. All right, let's get started. I'm going to turn the rotary selector to prefs. I'll find the USB B from PC. This is the signal coming from my computer through the USB port. By default, it's routed to left and right, but I'm going to change that and have that come in through aux in. So I can turn it off aux in channel 7 or 8 or through to master, that's the default. But I'm going to change it to aux in, and I'll do the same with the right. All right, so at this moment, both left and right channels coming from my PC are, both, are being routed to the aux in, which by default is panned straight up the middle. So we're going to change that. I'm on the change the rotary selector to pan aux, press the pan button, go to aux in 910 where I can set the pan hard left and hard right so that'll send a stereo image through the aux. Uh, if I wanted to change the level, which I don't, I would press the button and I could change that. I'm going to leave that at 50 and leave that at 50 percent. You can change that if you want later and then I'll go back to Here's my pan setting so I can just review it again. Now let's monitor that. So I've gone back to the rotary selector, change this to prefs, and I'll go to the input level. The input level shows you four channels at a time, so I've got channels one through four. There's no activity there. And here's channels five through eight. No activity there. I'll go to aux in, and there's my aux input levels. So you can see it. I'm going to lower the input level on the source on, on the computer and I'm going to reset the peak indicator there. All right, so you'll see that I'm going to raise the level on the computer and you can see here's my, my peak indicator. So we come full circle on this and finally I'll turn up the master which we would be able to hear if I had the T8S connected to a pair of F1s or L1s or even S1 Pros, but I don't right now. That's it.